When I say bananas, you say peppers. And you guys, I wish I could waft the scent of this room to your home right now. Um, it smells like blue raspberry snow cones in here. However, somebody told me on Snapchat the other day that Bath and Body Works candles are, I think that the word that they used was like toxic, I think, I don't know. I don't know, like not not good for you or something. I don't know, what, how can a candle be bad for you? I'm like, I'm not eating it, you know? I don't know, I just like assume everything I breathe and eat <laughs> is like probably not healthy. I don't know. Anyway, on that note, oh my God, you guys, um, I am so excited today because it is time for another episode of our opening 50 pounds of mystery items. And I feel like it's been a couple of weeks since I've done an episode in this series. So I shall refresh your memory. I've been doing a lot of deep, deep, deep cleaning of all of our rooms here. And over the years, I have either been sent through PR or bought random mystery boxes that I never ended up like getting enough of to make a full episode or I would just buy like one random thing at a time and like obviously I'm not gonna be like open this one single random box with me I might I don't know you never know with me what I've been doing is anytime I find a random mystery item that I have for some reason never opened I've been stuffing it all in this one giant plastic tub and you guys it keeps growing the collection of items keeps growing I kept thinking we would be like depleting this and like opening everything um but the more we clean the more stuff we find so even as I'm like empty uh, emptying even as I'm like opening a bunch of things at a time they're like respawning let's say so I have one two three four five six I have six random items to open today and you guys we're gonna start with this one first because I always wanted one of these and I don't even remember what year this series came out and I don't know why I never found one, but it is the LOL Boys Arcade Heroes. We did a lot of unboxings for the LOL Surprise Boy Dolls when they first came out, cause that, those would have been my favorite. But I feel like I would have loved the crossover between like the boy action figure kind of thing and like the fashion clothing kind of stuff, you guys. Oh my God. But this was actually sent to me in Swamp Family Mail. It was a birthday gift and I still have the card attached to it. So thank you so much, Christy, for this wonderful uh, mystery box for us to all open together. So I'm not sure how many of these there were, but I think that this is like an LOL sister doll. There's 15 items in here. All of these things and a hero suit? This is so cool! Look at how cool this is! <gasps> oh my god, can you actually see the doll in there already? I thought it was just like a helmet. Okay, now the fun begins of where do I open this? How does it, oh my gosh, <gasps> you pull the little um, joystick, it looks like, right? Yeah, it looks like, <gasps> okay, oh my gosh, there we go. That's so cool, okay. And this lifts up. Oh my God, you guys. The bottom comes down whoop, and the top comes. Oops. Um, I'm sure it just like snaps back on. Oh my God, you guys. This is so awesome. Oh my God. I love, <gasps> I was about to throw away a surprise. I think that this was like taped on the back. You guys, I feel like I'm like doing everything down here. It's been a long time. I feel like since I filmed, not on the floor. So I'm like just confused by sitting in a chair or something. So let's go ahead and see what this is. I feel like I was just accidentally gonna throw this away. But see, I feel like this is kind of like the big sister dolls because I don't know that I ever did a video opening one of those, but my mom and I just wanted to open one for fun. They also came with like these, it almost looks like, um, like a cereal box. Prize. I don't think they put prizes in cereal boxes anymore. Why not? We have a glittery token and I cannot read what is written on it, but it looks like there's like a design 
and some words on it. It's like see-through, glittery, gold, magic. Um, okay, now I need to see if there is anything in here. Okay, I almost hate to like reveal this card to you that just came out of here because it's gonna tell you like who it is but maybe y'all already know. I feel like it's the same as the other Rainbow High doll or something we unboxed like a couple of weeks ago now, maybe a couple months ago now. Um, and I feel like kind of if you are really familiar with the different characters, as soon as you see the suit or something, he's like coming apart in here. Oh my God. As soon as you see like the first accessory that you get, you're probably gonna like know who it is. Like I almost kind of feel like this one, the moment you take off the paper wrapping, like wouldn't you know who it is? So yeah, he's in this like suit and these back sections of his legs of the suit came off. Um, so yeah, that is really, funny and like fascinating is uh the doll is the same height but his suit does make him look taller okay, so there's his little helmet i love like the neon it almost kind of has like a tron astronaut kind of feel to it that is so awesome i love like the neon colors and Oh my God, he has like two different colored eyes as well. This is so, so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm trying to pop that suit off. There you go. Oh my God, his outfit is adorable. What's going on? Is it up here? Oh yeah, okay, this is so wild. Okay, there's like a flip section up top. And I think that there's different yeah oh my gosh okay i was just about to like miss all of his accessories so when he is like this his name is vr dude and then when he's in his suit his name is cyber here is all of the accessories they're all like vacuum sealed in there he has boba oh he's gonna spit because his head is like really squishy so there is his drink. Let me give him back his headphones, headset. I can't think of what I'm trying to say here, but yeah, oh my God. I love this one, you guys. He's so cool. The last thing to show you guys is the collector's chart. And you know, some of them are like ultra rare or I guess they just call like the regular ones popular. And then on the other side, there's like a little poster for these up next. What do I want to do next? I think this one actually, cause it's so random that I found this, you guys. We unboxed these, I don't even know how many years ago. Yeah, I bought these at Toy Joy a million years ago and it is Rement. You guys know we've done tons of different Rement series on this channel. And this was supposed to be like 80s home life in Japan. There were food items. There was like a little TV, which that's the one that I ended up using the most. But I think, I think at Toy Joy, I bought like a whole box, like a whole set, but I don't think we got the Sanrio, not Sanrio, Sailor Moon one, cause there was like a Sailor Moon option. Anyway, these, I found this box in this very room. So I must have just been like throwing things around as I do. And I probably just like threw this one off to the side and then didn't notice that we didn't open it. Who knows? Once again, this was like a million years ago. I don't even know. So it's gonna be interesting to see, like, is this gonna be a duplicate of one we got before? Or is this gonna be like the missing one? Oh my God, it is the Sailor Moon one. You guys. Yeah, I feel like I was like so disappointed at the time because I feel like that's the one that I really, really wanted and we didn't get it. Although now looking at it up close, I'm not sure if it's actually meant to be like actual Sailor Moon. You know what I mean? I think it's just supposed to be Sailor Moon inspired. All right. It looks like um, there is gonna be some DIY element to this, like stickers and stuff and, and stuff. Uh, like there so often is with Rements. Like sometimes you have to like put labels on things. It always 
makes me a little bit nervous, you know, because like the stickers are like this teeny tiny. So I'm always like, am I gonna get these perfectly in place? I will show you guys like these are two like mirrored stickers. One of the mirrored stickers is supposed to go on here because it is supposed to be like a Sailor Moon inspired vanity. But look at that. The little vanity drawer actually comes out. Then this is my absolute favorite thing because I feel like I'll be able to use this like with some of my other Reborns or something. It is a teeny tiny little Sailor Moon wand. The other item in here, which is what we need the other mirror sticker for, is the little compact. Just look at the details, like so many different textures. And there we go a cute little miniature mirror compact. And then the rest of the items, you actually have to cut out and assemble. So we have some cards and on the other side, I think one is actually like a magazine or a coloring book. So you would cut out this rectangle and then fold it. And then these are little cards. This looks like a box and then a poster. Because some people actually do set up like an entire um, diorama. I feel like I did not do a great job of applying this star sticker on the vanity. I actually feel like this sticker could be just a tiny bit smaller. And then I feel like I did do a pretty good job of the mirrored compact, but I think that this sticker fits just slightly better. So pretty cool that after all these years, we finally opened the uh, Sailor Moon Remint. I think that there is official Sailor Moon Remint sets, you guys. It was chaos in the time that I just applied these stickers. Somehow, in the action of doing that, I just spilt my coffee all over myself, all over this chair. So I'm sure that's gonna smell wonderful. All right, you guys, up next to this thing. What is this? It looks like water and two yellow things in an egg. Is it an egg? I don't know. This is a uh, gash pond, which I have a ton Oh, I need to like cut the tape on this. I have a ton of mystery gash pond for us to open. Like that's a whole different series. I need to reload some eggs in our gash pond mystery dispensing machine. I'm trying to peel off this tape. All right, you guys, it is an egg. It's an egg. This is so weird. Are, is this mystery eggs? It is, look at this. <gasps> we must have gotten the rare mystery egg. Oh my God, it is a double yolk, like splat egg. You guys, I'm going to shake this at you. It has an oddly soothing sound. I'm just over here for hours shaking an egg in my ear. Listen. ASMR, look at the yolks bounce. Look at that, Ooh. Um, that looks so cool. It looks a little less cool now that I've like frothified it. So it's like sticky and it has two yolks, it's clear. Um, you guys, I feel like this would be one of those things where you can like throw it at the ceiling. What were those called? You remember, I feel like like last year or a couple years ago, everybody was creating glob globbles. Don't eat the frothy eggs. Up next is this thing, which I will now not consume because it's a thousand years old. And I feel like we did do this a million years ago, except for it was a toilet. It was toilet candy. Um, well, they went one step further, you guys, because now we have bathtub bath water candy. Amazing. But I love the suggestions. So basically like you get a plastic bathtub. It's a mystery which design, which stickers and which color bathtub you're gonna get. Uh, but you eat slash drink the candy. Um, and then you can like reuse the bathtub to like put a succulent in it. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Cause I don't think, I think this is gonna be too small for any of the reborn dolls, but you never know, because I keep thinking I'm gonna order a teeny tiny one on AliExpress. Just because I keep seeing them on TikTok and they do look so weird. Ew, we got a pink bathtub. <gasps> so here is the fizzy, super expired, super old candy. Oh my gosh, I guess this, I guess you get two 
types of candy. Yogurt flavor? Oh, help me out here. You guys. Yeah, I can't read what this one says exactly on the back. Um, but yeah, yogurt flavor, I don't know. Yogurt flavored bath water just does not sound like something that I would want to drink through this tiny clear straw. So here is the stickers that you can optionally put on the bathtub. I usually don't do that. I don't think I put the stickers on the toilet either just because I love tiny little miniatures like this, but the more realistic they look, the better that I like them. And um, so far in my life, I've never seen a bathtub or a toilet with a face. Now I'm gonna like pop all of this stuff apart and uh, we shall assemble it. Now I don't exactly know, they kind of imply that you can like pump the candy to make it like bubble out. But I don't see how that would happen very well, you guys, because like the pump, it, it only goes like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like a normal pump where you like you push it down and then it pops back up. We have so many new little succulents right now. So I feel like this will be a good little planter for them. Although maybe I should like drill like a little hole in the bottom. Um, I'm now noticing that this video has been so long already, but I still picked out two more mystery items and they each have like six items and they have a toy many brands. I think that this is from the original OG collection from like who knows how long ago. You guys, I can't believe they're on mini brands series four now. And I think that they're about to come out with probably another mini brands toys. There's still Disney mini brands, fashion mini brands. And I, um, why do I also always like chop off all my nails and then do an unboxing video? I have gotten to the point where if it's not like press on nails, I cannot stand to have even slightly long nails. Also, you guys, I don't think future mini brands have the orange sections anymore. I feel like I'm gonna miss that. All right, yeah, up first we have a chart and a Robo Alive snake. And I feel like we've gotten this one before because I feel like I was like looking at these and thinking how cute this one would be as like a croc gibbets if it was not like paper. Like the plastic part would work, but like inevitably if it's a shoe, you're probably gonna like walk through a puddle, get caught in a rainstorm or something. And then I don't think like a cardboard box would work very well. We have a Jojo Siwa doll. I love these little miniature dolls in the packagings. I feel like they look so cute and it's wanting to focus on my face. All right, ooh, I remember this one too. So cute. It's a frisbee. I like literally do not remember what our quest was for the toy mini brands or even if we had a quest at that point. I feel like I started doing the cheese quest with series two mini brands. And now can you guys believe we're almost at series four? Um, but like I said, I think that this is the first series of toy mini brands. So I think that this is pre like cheese quest time. Oh, we got a shelf. Oh my God. Okay, um, we got a shelf. Lastly, we got something else. What is this? This is, oh yeah, this is like the whole show and characters that I didn't know. They look like they're monster trucks. It says Blaze. And how interesting that in this toy series, they have like Nickelodeon shows and Nickelodeon toys. And now Mini Brands has like all the Disney stuff. You would think you'd have to like pick one, like if you were gonna be a Nickelodeon company or a Disney company, but Maybe they just let everybody do everything now. I feel like back in the day, you know, like Burger King got all the Disney toys and then McDonald's did whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, you guys, I feel like this episode is definitely gonna need timestamps. Um, so I saved this for last because we were just talking about this in the miniature school unboxing the other day where it was like we unboxed like a whole miniature school 
tons of miniature school supplies. So uh, this is what I was talking about a lot. The Real Littles backpacks that we unboxed. They had all the real working miniature stationery, which I love. I think that that's a lot better than like just the miniatures that are like pens and pencils and stuff that don't actually work. I don't know. That was just kind of weird to me. So this is kind of the same thing, but a little bit different because this is from a handbags series that they did, I think a while ago, but you can collect 30 different surprises. I think each thing, yeah, each thing has six surprises inside the bag. Um, but yeah, these props work great for like Avatar Baby, Tiny Shrek Baby. I would love to get a thermos, a hydro flask. Oh my god. Also, will you find the limited edition ring watch? I don't know. Will we? So this one is like a fuzzy miniature handbag keychain. Um, so that's the thing about these as well. I don't know if I just said this or not. This is a handbag series they did. Uh, I think they even have like series two of the backpacks out. Maybe they're at series three by now. I know they also did like a Disney series, miniature Disney things. I don't know. So yeah, it has a little strap, a little carabiner, carabiner clip, and you open it up and it's a snap. I didn't know if it was a snap or magnetic. And here's gonna be all of our magical surprises inside. Oh my God, is it a ring watch? <gasps> no, it's a hairbrush. Oh my God, but it's so cute. Oh, okay. So we have a tiny hairbrush. I feel like this is gonna be perfect for miniature avatar baby because he actually does have hair. So that's so cute. Oh my God, but can you imagine if I try and like I can actually brush my hair with it. I feel like I've just awakened a hidden patch of dandruff. All right, we have this, which is, I'm assuming, gonna be a lucky horseshoe mirror. Is this gonna be a tiny mirror? Or is it gonna look like there's makeup inside of it? Oh! Oh my God, this is so cute. I mean, it is almost like too tiny to be functional, but this is actually a real mirror. It's not a sticker. You can actually see like four eyelashes in this compact mirror. So I feel like this is so cute. Do you know what I'm saying? This is so cute. It's all real. I guess that's why it's called real littles. We also have this, which is a real tiny eraser. So like I could actually be writing with a pencil, unwrap this eraser and erase something with it. Now I will say I feel like this eraser is like slightly larger than the miniature supplies that we saw the other day. We also have this, which I can only assume is meant to be an air freshener, which is kind of interesting, you know, because I feel like that would go more with like real little car. But you know, you hang like an air freshener in your locker or whatever. Is this a band-aid? What? This is so cute. Oh my God. So it is three stickers, but it looks like a miniature package of band-aids. Okay, I have to figure out how to like open this. Am I meant to open this? I almost hate to cut it. Okay, I think I can get it now. I think I can just tear it. Am I not supposed to tear it? I don't know, you guys, I'm like conflicted. Like this definitely does not look like I should be opening it, but hey, we've gone too far. Now I'm just cutting into it. Yeah, I feel like I was maybe not supposed to open this. Like maybe this is just supposed to look like a miniature that you have in your bag. No, there are little band-aids in there. You guys, this packaging is like, wild. Woo! Okay, there we go. It was hard work for these three teeny tiny little band-aids, but look at that. And they actually, like, the stickiness is exposed by peeling back both sides like an actual tiny little band-aid. I just dropped this. These are, like, almost impossible to unwrap or to use or to open up or to pick up if you drop them. But they're so cute. Oh my gosh. I hope you guys can see the very faint pastel designs. And lastly, 
What? Oh my god. Okay, so this is so cute. <gasps> These had to come out last year, right? They say Real Littles 2021. So this looks like a magazine. You know how you would just used to, like back in the old days, shove a whole magazine in your purse? Do people still do that? I feel like sad sometimes because I feel like just the whole of magazines is kind of like just something that really like doesn't exist as much anymore. Um, at least not like real like printed magazines, but this is actually like a whole blank notebook that I feel like would actually just be good to like put in your purse or whatever, your backpack, because it's just good to just jot down little bits of information. So cute. You guys, I feel like the Real Littles actually got even like better and more detailed than the last time when we unboxed the backpacks. The only thing that I'll say is like the bag is kind of like the least real looking part of the real littles. I feel like they definitely could do a thing. Like that would be like the perfect meshing is like the little miniatures that you get in real littles combined with how real the mini brands fashion bags look. That would be like an ideal world where you get like real looking designer handbags coupled with real actual working miniatures that you would find in a handbag. All right, you guys, this has been like the longest one of these ever. <laughs> but thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Pepper Squad today. And until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye.